morning and welcome. My name is Dr. Shannon Holzer and we are going to be discussing today's class Ethics 2306 and in this class what we're going to discuss is the nature of ethics. What do we mean uh, when we say the word good or what do we mean when we say the word evil? Uh, so I mean those are can be vague terms we use them all the time but if I use the word, uh, say, this pizza is good, and I say uh, smelling roses is good, I certainly don't mean that if uh, pizza is good and smelling roses is good, that uh, pizza is the same thing as smelling roses. Instead, what I want to know is when I use the word good, in reference to the smell of roses or when I say good in reference to the taste of pizza those are not the same things but what I want to know is what do I mean by the word good conversely when I say murder is bad theft is bad uh, lying and cheating are bad I don't mean that murder is the same thing as theft because if murder is bad and theft is bad it doesn't follow that murder is theft what I am really saying is there is something that is similar about murder, uh, something in common with murder and theft that we call them or describe them in the same way as, say, evil or bad. And we want to know what that is. And so the topic of today's class is really uh, what do we mean by that word good and evil, or those words. Uh, in fact, that is really... The uh, what we endeavor to do for the entire uh, semester of this class because uh, that has that question has been enduring uh, for thousands of years that is when I say X is good or when I say X is bad um, I want to know to what I am referring and there are many different theories and the course here is going to run us over each and every theory of what it means to be good and evil. Now my goal for this assignment here is merely for you to recognize or be able to, to list a few things that are good and list a few things that are evil. And I would say this is the assignment here uh, that I've already posted. Uh, is that what I want you to do is write out say 10 things that you would describe as morally good and on the other hand, I would like you to describe 10 things that are morally evil. And I don't want you to have to go uh, Google evil or good to try to find the answers. I assume you can do that. This isn't a class over uh, what we can find on the internet or what's in the textbook at this point. What I want to know is what you think and how you think and from there I want to teach you how to think about such things. I don't want you to just merely spit out what you've read uh, if that's the case and we've all failed uh, because what we want to be able to do is be able to apply moral theories to situations and we will certainly do that. So without further ado I'm gonna set you free from this video and have you do that which I told you to do. Make a list of 10 things you think are good and 10 things that you think are evil. We will discuss these in short order, and until then, have a good day.